Okay, so this is going to be Scuttle Button by Stevie Ray Vaughan, the main kind of intro riff. So there's a couple ways to do this. You, he could be bending. And it'd be a question of like which fingers you want to use. Like you might bend with the middle finger both times. So you could get that pull off going easier there. It's a little easier than this one. That one seems kind of quicker to me. So there's the bending way of doing it, which could also be like. But I like to do the slide way. Seems a little quicker and kind of easier, but Stevie Ray could have been doing it that bend way. He could have done it like for a while one way and a while the other way. I feel like I've heard like stories of both sides. So this riff is gonna start in the second fret of the G string with the middle finger, slide up to four, and then we're going for the little E string open. And then we got a pull off here on the second string, three to open. Then we're gonna slide this one up to the five. And then the little string open again, little E. Another pull off there. And then we got this double pull off to the E note there on the D string, to the big E. And that chord is gonna be that two there, and you're muting the G string, and you're hitting the two threes on the bottom. So it's like an E minor seven. Same riff there, but then we're going to the A7, which is those twos for an A and a three on the bottom. And then we do that riff again. Go to the B7, 2, 1, 2, O2. Oh, Little G note there, third fret of the big E string to the A, and the A7. Riff. That's the end. So one more time we got. A7. E. Turn around. Now let's move on to an easy one. Here's uh, Mary Had a Little Lamb. Okay, so our first riff is starting on the A string. O to two, and then open D string. And then back to this A, B, A. Down to that G. And then staccato hit on that E note on the D string. So your strum is like, kind of has a bass note first. That was O to two here on the A string. Down to the G, back to that E note. So that's two to four on the A string. So the two on the D string. A little kind of a slidey up and down with that four to five. Down to that four there. 
A7. First riff, back to D. E. And then for the turnaround, so that's a quick hammer, open to two. O, one, two. And then when the verse starts, it goes to the A chord. Followed her to school. So the verses start in the A there. So that's an easy one, four, five to jam with. One more time on that riff. Now here's another one, this one's called Wham. This one we start out, this was like a Lonnie Mack tune that Stevie covered. So we're gonna start out with this E7, O2, O1, O0. And we're gonna go up chromatic with this chord each time. So it's kind of like a ba da 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 ba da 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 We're gonna go all the way to the seventh fret. Okay, so let me show you how to do that. So once again, we got da 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 da, F7, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B. We're starting with the big E open, and then we're gonna slide into this E7 chord, four, three, four, from kind of like the two, one, two. And that's the two, two, two on the bottom. So we get a little chords going between the bottom of this E chord, one, open, open, and these twos from an A, kind of an A6, or from like an F sharp minor, however you want to look at it. So, so see how we got, we got that. Da, 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 de, da, da. Then we're going to A7. So we're kind of hitting the two and the three of the bottom of this chord here. And then twos and opens. So it's like. B kind of B7, 9 there, B9. A little vibrato, A7. Okay, so once again, nice and slow. Okay, so there's a little riff there to kind of get started after that main intro. You can do one of those kind of Jimi Hendrix things where you do that three to five, but you're also hearing the bottom string with it. Kind of a unison hammer. So we got that standard kind of four going down to two. And then we got this little hammer onto that half step. And then. So that's two, two, oh, two, two, hammer, back to the two, E. And then he does the E a couple more.
more times, does some little stuff. Chord progression is gone. Okay, now here for this last one, we're gonna do Pride and Joy. Okay, so let's look at the intro. We're gonna slide in, that's like three to five here with the open string ringing with it. And that's eight and seven, eight on the second string, seven on the first string. Back to five oh. And on that last one, we kind of slide down. So after that slide down, we're gonna have this. That's the two of the G string going up and down and pulling off before it gets to that E there. So. And then we have this little pattern. So what I'm doing is I'm using the first two fingers to get the two one open open from an E chord and it's going bass on the E to the chord and then and a little bend on that one, like a kind of a quarter step bend. So each time you hit a bass note, you have a chord again on the upstroke. So you could move this finger over here to that one. I just kind of like put that one in there on top. So it's like. So we had four bass notes so far. O, three with a little bend, two, four, each one alternating with the chord. So. And that's going to be that one right there, that fourth, fourth string, second fret. Back to the three. And once we get to that two in there, we're going to go. So that's like hammering all three of those into those bottom three twos out of that E chord. A7. Really just kind of eggs. We're not really hitting that three on the bottom here. But we're going to go to that open, three, little bend, two, to four, two, three, two. So it's the same kind of bass note numbers and stuff. Back to that thing, back to E. Now the last thing is. So we got this riff. So we're going from the seventh to the ninth on the D string three times into the seventh of the G string. Okay, so three of those. And then we're doing this quick maneuver here. So a quick slide, nine to seven, pull off to the five and seven on the other string. Then after that E note there, we're going to go A, B, B. And then. So we got some chromatics in there. Five, six, seven, and then five, and then seven, six, five. So. And you're going to kind of hold that one slightly and do a, a pull off and slide up with it. Hammer on pull off slide. Pull off the 5 3 after that, so to this little E, to the big E, and they're gonna slide into this 4 and 3 kind of riff with the open on the bottom. So a little strumming back and forth after you've slidden into that. Slide that 4 back on this G string. Pull off. And that ends with G note, then A, A sharp, B. Okay, 
Okay, so one more time, let's do that. Steve Ray Vaughn riffs. Hope you enjoyed that. Please like and subscribe. I'm Damon Wood. Let us know if you have any requests. We'll see you soon. Thanks a lot.